Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I'm going to teach you on how to create this wonderful painting. Okay guys, so I am going to introduce to you first my materials. Okay, so I'll be using this limited colors um, acrylic paints. I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you will observe guys that I am always using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And using limited colors, guys, is one of the best ways in how to learn mixing while you learn painting. Okay. And these are my brushes. I have here the number 11 nylon flat brush, long handled. And number 11 bristle flat brush, long handled. Number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. And um, I still I have here the number four filbert brush short handle number six um, nylon flat brush short handle and I have also here the number one liner brush for the details okay and this is my canvas guys it's 10 by 12 inches it has three cuts of prime white acrylic you can also use gesso I made it myself and water to thin the paint and I have here a um, water spray guys uh, so that um, we can have a smoother blendings okay so uh, I think I'm going to start now And I'm going to plan first what I'm going to do or what I'm going to paint. So I will be painting um, a landscape, guys, with um, a very yellowish landscape, like an autumn scene, but it will be more on yellow, something like that. Okay. So I am going to use, um, I think I'm going to use a little red with some white to become a lighter lighter color or pinkish okay I think I'm going to put a huge tree here guys but I'm not going to I'll just visualize what I'm going to put here but yeah I'll just just put a mark here which I'm going to put the tree yeah, this will be a good, uh, big tree here. And also, I'm going to put a cabin here, guys, in front of the big tree. And there will be, there'll be a road here or a pathway. There. Uh, just a little pathway, guys. There. And I'm going to put some um fence here uh, just small fence yeah something like this okay and on this part guys i'm going to put um a barn here a small barn there Or here, or uh, I'm not sure, guys, is where we're gonna put um, maybe here or something like that. Okay, here. I'm not sure, guys, I'm going to really put the fence here, but I'll just try later. Okay, so I'm still planning what I'm going to do, or maybe I'm going to make this barn a, a little smaller. Yeah, this is kind of too big for, 
or maybe I'm going to put it here on the center then I put the fence here so this will be um, the flan is not fixed yet but uh, I'm not sure later what, what I'm gonna do okay so I'll just plan uh, while painting guys okay so that will be my initial plan and some trees here there this will be an afternoon scene guys with, with uh, uh, some yellowish skies or clouds something like that so this will be a river here with some water reflections okay so that will be my plan for this painting and I think I'm going to start with the background colors okay so I will be using this number 11 flat brush long handle and I'm going to paint the sky okay so I'll be using the, the, the white with blue okay so that we can have the light blue sky okay and if you are painting with me guys just follow everything I did in this video there Okay. And I'll be adding some a little amount of red and the blue so that it will become a little purple. I'm going to put a purple sky here guys. There. Okay. Oh, I like to have a, a little purple sky here. There. So, can you guys just follow what I'm doing if you are painting with me now? And just enjoy and relax while you're painting and do not stress yourself out, guys. If ever the result is um, a little different from mine. So, uh, I want to tell you guys that this is just. Uh, this tutorial is just a guide. Actually, you you will be the one to to teach yourself on how to get the technique or how to to get the result. Okay, so I'm going to add a little blue color there. Okay, that's it. Okay, and I need to clean my brush with water. And I'm going to add a little yellowish color. So I'll be using the yellow, of course, here with some red. And I don't have white, so I'm going to add some white on my palette. There. So here, guys, I have a pinkish color. There, I like this color. Okay. This will just be a simple sky guys with some with just a plain sky. Okay, I'm going to add some yellow and white there. Okay, so we have now uh, a little orange sky here. So I'm going to add more white. I need to cover some sketches. Okay. Okay. 
so I need to clean my, my brush and I'm going to add some more purple so I'm gonna use some red and blue here okay I'm going to add more purple color here this time um, solid colors there okay, and also here let's add more purple that's it okay okay so I'm not sure yet if it's solid okay but I think I'm going to add more so blue and red and more white just blue and red and more white white guys will make it lighter there there so we need to blend it here so that you can have a smoother sky it should be smooth there okay I think I am continuing with that and I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let it that way okay so now I'm going to put some mountains okay on our on a distant mountain guys so I think I'm gonna use some blue again with some red to make it violet there some more red and white it's a violet then let's add some mountains here there okay just follow what I'm doing guys just follow my stroke so this is how I do it there so just make it smooth Okay, and here, so again, guys, do not do not make the do not make the shape the same, so it should be um, a little irregular something like uh, different from each other okay that's just we have another sky As it, I'm sorry the the mountains hey okay. and I'm gonna let it that way okay okay I think I'm gonna make it li lighter guys I'm, go I'm going to add some more white I'm going to make it um, a little misty we're adding some white here there so if you want to make a misty look guys or misty effect just add more white on it just change the value of the color into um, lighter okay that's it okay so now I'm going to add uh, here I'm going to horizon here okay then we to add some distant forest yeah something like that guys some distant forest 
so I think I'm going to make it a little greenish so here I have some yellow color and some blue just a little amount of blue and red now it's too much more yellow and blue color and white so again guys if you want to make a misty effect just have to add that's white just like this one there so this will be some forest distant forest guys So, you guys, you can use the punching or tapping technique, just like this one. There. Okay. And again, also here. And let's add some white guys with a little blue color there and I'm going to put a distant forest here there and also here okay okay so let's clean our brush This will be a little different landscape that I did before guys, it's something like uh, with a uh, different colors, color scheme or color theme, it's something like uh, the color is a little dull with more yellow on it, okay, and I think I'm going to put the, the color of the river first before adding more details, so I think I'm going to use this yellowish color here with some red. And of course, I'm going to add some white because I do not have white on my palette. There. And let's add more white on here. So here, guys, I'm adding some reflections. It's so dark. I'm going to add some white to make it darker, lighter. I'm gonna use this reddish color so that I can have a little reddish sky reflection of the sky here. There. And I'm going to add some blue and red to make some violet. And add some more blue and white. There. So it's a little dark. I'm going to add some white there so just have to blend the colors guys something like this a little blue color some white blue and red more white blue there I'm going to add more white guys I'm going to put it here I think I'm going to add more red there
Okay. So you just have to blend the colors. I'm going to add more white with this color here, some yellowish color. There. Yellow. With some red. Okay, and we, uh, we just have to blend the colors guys like this and follow what I'm doing guys hey okay. yeah that will be fine okay and now we're going to um, continue adding some more uh, background colors okay now I'm gonna use this again here with some blue color, red and yellow. And a little blue. And let's add something here. The river bank. Okay. it so it's still the background colors guys I'm going to add later the, the details okay and I think I'm going to add more here I'm gonna make it more yellowish so I'm gonna mixing for orange so just yellow and red there This scene guys will be more yellow and this green. But I still uh, need to add uh, some green colors here. Anyway, this is the background color. I'm gonna add more blue and yellow. There. With some red. So I'll be uh, mixing. I'm be making this part darker, guys. We need some red, of course. There. And also here. It's gonna make that part dark. A bit more red. There. Okay, and I'm going to add some yellow and red here. There. Okay. it yeah and I'm gonna use this brownish color here and I'm going to add a river bank here guys Okay. Okay, that's it, guys. So I think I'm going to continue. Here, yeah, I'm going to make I stain this part.
there. And I'm not sure, but maybe I'm going to put the house here, guys. This part. Yeah. And I'm going to start adding some details. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to zoom in so that we can see clearly. And I'll be using this brush guys, the number 11 bristle flat brush. And I'll be using some red with blue color with and white. No, I'm not, it's not red guys, it's yellow, I'm sorry. Some more yellow. And white. Then we need to, I'm going to put all my lights guys coming from the left side, so all the reflection or all, all, all the highlights will be on the left so here guys just um, tapping technique or punching there okay that's it so again guys don't overdo it okay and I'm gonna mix for some yellowish color. So here, some yellow and red. And white. There. More white. Okay, let's add more yellowish highlights here. It should be more yellow. There, so. Just do it carefully guys and slowly. There. And also here. And I think I'm going to add a little here. To create some details on the distance. And here let's add more. And here also. Okay, again guys, just punching or tapping technique. And I'm going to add some highlights on this rubber bank. So again guys, punching or tapping. I'm going to add more yellow and white. I'm going to make this part lighter. So here. There. More yellow. There. Okay. And I will be using the filbert brush guys here to add more detail. So I'm going to mix a brown. So black here with some red and I think I'm going to add more yellow on my palette there I think more yellow so here I'm gonna add some more yellow to make some brown and we need to add some more white to add a lighter or highlights of the brown And it's had some river punk. Going to add, I'm going to make it lighter. Here, what is it? Some yellow and white. There. There. That's it. 
and I'm going to add more white guys to add more highlights here there highlights on the river bank this will be some soils guys or rocks or whatever okay that's it so we have now the details on this island okay and I think I'm going to okay it's still wet a little so I think I'm going to continue adding some details on this part So again, I'm going to add some highlights on the on the forest here. So I'm going to use the existing yellowish color here, guys. And let's add some highlights on the trees there. So again, guys, just tapping or punching technique. And do not overdo, do not cover everything. There. Okay, and let's also add some highlights on this. On the river bank. Okay. We to add some um, highlights on the ground here. So the same color, guys. There. Okay. And I'm going to add the barn there. So I'll be using a smaller brush and I'll be using this brush guys. Okay. We're using this number six flat brush short handle. And I'm going to mix for brown here, red, yellow. So I'm I'll be using this existing brown here guys. So here, just uh, I'm going to put the three here. So I think I'm going to put the part here. Still wet. There. Just a small pine. Okay. And we're going to add some black and red there just black and red there okay and what will be the the roof so 
think I'm going to put a red roof guys so here and then some yellow and some white more yellow there okay there okay then on the body guys more yellow so it will be some brown there okay then you see this color again Okay. Yeah. And I'll just let it dry first. Then I'm going to continue adding more um, background colors. So I'll be using again this brush, guys. And I'm going to put some pathway there. Here. I'm going to use this brown here I need to add some pathway here the color is very transparent so I'll be mixing another brown color there okay Okay, sorry guys, I forgot to move down. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to position the camera first. Okay. So you guys, I'm adding some background color of this part. Okay. That's it. So I think I'm going to start adding some. Okay, it's still, still dry. It's still, it's, it's still really dry. Some reflection, guys, on this part of the forest. So I'll be using some yellow, blue, and red to make some um, greenish color. So just copy the colors that you see in the on the on this part, guys. So I'll just paint. I just be using this color first, and you need to create the strokes downward like this. There. Okay. It's a downward stroke, guys, from the, the from the base of the of the river bank. There. Okay. here just do it slowly guys and carefully
there that's it so it's just a very easy technique guys just constant downward strokes I'm going to make it this part longer there because of this part it's a little long longer okay that's it and of course here guys we need to add also here I'm, go I'm going to use the same color but um, a little darker so I'm gonna use some blue and yellow and a little red there Okay, so again guys, the same technique. Okay, and also the house or the barn. We can use the same color, but later we're gonna, we're gonna change it. Need the little colors here. Okay, the little reflections there. Okay, sorry. longer okay that's it so it looks nice so clean your brush make sure it doesn't have water on it then you're gonna need to use some brown here with a little reddish brown to create a reflection of the house so here the same technique guys vertical strokes there okay yeah I think that's very easy guys and yeah it's a really simple technique in painting okay and I think I'm going to add some tree here add more and also guys I think I need to add one more house on the back of the of that house so I'm going to color the roof of the house guys uh, blue yeah and to add some white with the blue guys so that it will become lighter and let's put a house here on the back part So I'm going, to, I'm going to mix some um, dark brown there. Uh, let's put something here. some highlights I just add white to the existing brown color there okay and I'm going to add more white on the blue here there and let's add more highlights on the roof I think I'm going to retouch the other one, how the other house, guys. And some red. So I'm gonna mix in for brown. 
darker brown so that I have to put some dark brown here yeah it's still wet very wet And we chat with a chimney on the top. There. It's just a small house, guys. With a chimney. <laughs> so I'll be mixing for another brown. To add some highlights on the chimney. There. Okay. And I'll be using this color here to make a lighter brown. And I'm going to add some highlights here. There, just horizontal strokes, guys. There. Okay. nice and I think I'm going to add more trees on on this part yeah so I'll be using the filbert brush here and I'm gonna mix for some red and yellow this will be some autumn tree guys Okay, and so we're going to put the uh, leaves first so again the stopping technique guys here using this brush there Okay. Yeah, that's it. So I think I'm going to add some. So I'm gonna use this brown here, the dark brown guys. I'm going to add some tree trunk so over here. Okay. And I'm going to add some highlights using white. So the highlight guys on the left side. Okay. And again, we're using the Falbert brush. I'm going to use some more yellow. There. and some white to create the highlights so I think I'm going to add more white there ok 
Okay. So again guys, just tapping or punching. I think I'm going to add more highlights here on the ground. I think I'm going to add some ground color guys or some ground so I'll be mixing some brown color here and yellow there Okay, let's not forget the some shadings or shadows, casted shadow guys. And also here. There. Yeah. So I think I'm going to proceed here guys. This part. So I'll be using this this brush guys here. The number um eleven bristle brush. And I think I'm gonna move closer. And I'm going to use this yellow with some red to make some little orange color. Here, I'm just gonna put some grasses, yellow grasses here. So in case the strokes, uh, you need to drag a little. It's a tapping technique, but you need to drag a little, guys, down, so as you can create uh, longer strokes like this. And also tapping technique. There. And also here. And I'm going to add some white to create a lighter color. There. For the highlights here. there so just do it softly guys okay with one more yellow Okay, and also here guys, the stopping technique. There. Okay, and 
think I think I'm going to move a little here. And also this part guys. I'm going to mix for uh, some more orange. some reddish or orange color there Can you guys just bouncing or tapping technique? Okay. So I'm gonna let it dry first a little. Okay. So I think I'm going to add some shadow on the road guys and I'll be using another brush which is this number 8 nylon flat brush and I'm gonna mix for a little bluish color so here black and blue and with some red there more blue and white more red So here guys I'm adding some shades or shadows using this a little purple color So just create uh, strokes guys just from left to right okay or oh, just follow what I'm doing yeah that's pretty nice okay so again I'm going to Add some more highlights. So here I'm going to use the white case and this existing brown color here. And just add more white on this color. It's a little yellowish. And just add some more here. Some highlights guys on the road. Okay, and some more yellow here. I'm going to use this yellow color here. There. So we'll just add more layers and layers, guys, until you get the desired results you want. It's a loose technique. And I think we need to mix some brown color, so I'll use the red, the black, and the yellow. Okay, it's the there. So again, guys, I'm um, just add lots of layers until you get the the desired look you want or the desired results you want. Okay. Okay. 
and I think I'm going to proceed in this part So I'm going to use, I'm going to mix for darker color green, and I need to add more yellow. So here, I'm going to add more yellow there, and let's add more plants here. Again, guys, just tapping or punching technique. Just a little but not too much. Okay. And I think I'm going to move up so that you can see clearly. because I'm going to put a tree here guys, a big tree a huge tree and I'm going to add some more yellow and blue here I'm going to add a huge tree here so you guys just stopping or punching I'm going to cover a little here And don't overdo it guys, do not cover everything. Just a small there. And I'm going to mix for some orange color, so red and yellow here. More yellow. Okay, here it's a little autumn tree, guys. So, I'm going to add some more orange color here. There. Okay, and also here. Okay, guys, just stopping and don't overdo it. Always remember that. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to add some I'm going to add some branches on the tree. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the black here with some red and yellow and red. So it will be a dark brown, guys. There. Here, this is a big branch, or I mean, tree trunk. another tree trunk here there ok 
okay and here Let's put some branches. Make sure guys that the branches are smaller than the tree trunk. And if you are having trouble using this brush guys, you can use the, the smaller brush, which is the number one liner brush. There. into add more branches there okay more branches so again guys you can use the number one liner brush for the branches it will be easier for that because it is a smaller brush let's add more branches here there and here Okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's uh, beautiful. So I think I'm gonna start adding some highlights on the tree, guys. So I think I'm going to zoom in so that you can see clearly. Okay, now I'm going to use the same brush, which is the number 11 pot brush. And I'm gonna use the yellow here with a little amount of blue to make it green. Yeah, and you put it on the tip of your, of your brush, guys, and let's put you can use the topping and punching technique there just do it carefully and slowly there Okay, and now we're gonna need to use the yellow. So I'm gonna use this yellow here with some red. Just a little amount of red and more yellow. And okay, gonna put it here. There. Then guys just tapping or punching. Okay. Just do it carefully guys and precisely.
and all the highlights should be coming from the left side and again guys do not overdo it there the tree okay and I'm going to add more yellow on my palette then I'm going to use some yellow guys with white to make it lighter okay there let's add some more highlights here Again guys, just tapping or punching the again and just do it slowly guys so that, so that you can have a better um, details or highlights There So I think that will be a very lovely tree. And I think I'm going to use this to add more highlights on this tree here. Because this tree is so lonely and I do not like the look. Okay. Okay. There. And then I'm going to add some more highlights so I'll be using again the I'm going to put the highlights on the tree trunk so I'm going to use this brush guys the number 8 flat brush short handle so I'm going to use the pure white here and let's add some highlights here there Okay, and also here. Then I'm going to mix for a little bluish color. I'm going to use this color here. It's a little bluish, guys, but it's a little purple. But I'm going to use some blue color. And let's add on the right side some diffuse highlights. There, you can use a smaller brush, guys, if you are having a hard time using this brush. There. And one more white and blue. It. and I'm going to add more white highlights okay Here. So 
Vou instalar tá ali tal de ítulos. Ok. É, yeah, that's a very, very beautiful tree, guys. It is, it is actually like um, a bird tree, yeah. It's probably a bird tree. I think I'm right. Okay. Okay, that's it. So I think I'm going to add, start adding some more details here. Um, this part. Okay. And I will be using this brush guys, it's a smaller brush. The number eight number six, I mean number six flat brush, short handle. Here. I'm gonna add more I'm gonna use more yellow with a little more little red there. And I'm going to add some details here. Okay, some plants guys, different varieties of plants. There. After I guess you can use a smaller brush, smaller than this brush. And here also. Okay. All you have to do is just add more layers and layers. Yeah, and I'm going to add more red and yellow and white. Let's add more details. There. Okay. So just uh, different strokes, guys. Just follow what I'm doing. Yeah. 
just uh, like I'm painting some ferns or whatever plants here but I'm making it a uh, detailed okay And I think I'm going to add more white. Here. With yellow. it Okay, I think that would be enough. And also here guys. Want some highlights on these plants, guys? Okay, and I think I'm going to add the fence now. I'm going to move a little here. Just a small fence, guys. I'm going to use this dark brown here with some yellow. There. Okay. Another one here. And this one will be a little slanting. Okay. And let's add some tree. I must see some horizontal. Uh, what I don't know what to call that, guys. Wood. Something like that. There. There. Okay. And let's add the highlights of the tree, guys. I'm going to use the white here and I'm going to mix for a lighter brown here just put it on top of the color of the dark color guys ok 
Okay. There. And I'm going to use existing light blue color here. But I'm gonna use more white. There. Okay, to read the highlights. Yeah. I think I'm almost done, guys. Okay, I think it looks nice. Yeah. So, what else? I don't know what I'm going to add, guys, but I think I am done. So, I think I'm going to use this lighter brown here. With some yellow, and I'm going to add some highlights here. There. Okay, and also on the here. There. And with a little bluish color here, I'm going to add some highlights on this. And also here, guys. Okay. And I think I'm going to make this part the uh, darker. I'm going to make the the reflection darker. There. And more brownish. So here, I'm going to use some brown color, or orange color, guys. I mean, and with some more white. Here. Okay. Touch it. So uh, let's see first the entire view, and I'm going to decide what I'm going to add. There. So I think I am all. I am done, guys, and. I think I am contented with the result and I like it. Yeah, I know. I hope you like it all also, guys. Yeah, it looks great. And I think I'm going to add some. Yeah, this will be the last part. Some smoke, guys, on this. Um, with, on the on the chimney of the uh, of that um, barn or house. So I'm going to mix for gray color, so black and just white, just black and white case to create the gray color. There. So I think I'm going to make it darker. Okay. And more white. There. 
I'm going to spread it here. Okay. And more white. There. So just spray the colors here, guys. Okay. That's it. Yeah, it's like uh, there's a burning, uh, there's burning inside the house. So I'm going to use more white, and we touch a little here, there. Okay, I think I am done, guys. And hopefully, uh, you enjoy on this short uh, tutorial, and I hope you get something out of this tutorial, guys, so that you can learn on your own and you can paint by yourself. And I am using limited colors guys because I want to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. That's why you need to learn mixing guys. That's very important if you want to learn how to paint. Okay guys, thank you so much. Please hit, hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. And once again guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.